Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the last time we did a reaction video, I did it to our Thanksgiving special from 10 years ago and a couple other ones as well. This time I'm gonna do the Christmas special from 10 years ago which is still interesting. Epic Meal Time was barely a thing. We were getting traction. At this point, we had crossed a million views and two million views on videos, but we had no idea what we were doing. I had spent the most money I'd ever spent on beef tenderloin. I used to dress up like Santa Claus and go to schools, elementary schools, and children would sit on my lap and tell me what they wanted for Christmas. Weird life. I had to call the school to borrow that Santa Claus costume and said it was for another project because I didn't want to say that I was going to be getting drunk in it and yelling at a gingerbread house made of meat on the internet. Well, without further ado, Let's jump into the Slaughterhouse Christmas Special. Epic meal time, circa 2010. Wow, bust this bad boy out. We got a big bag of Christmas meat, ground pork, sausages, ham, bacon, bacon. I can't tell if I'm uglier then or bacon, uglier now. Bacon, 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 bacon. What up, ribs? <laughs> tenderloin. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That what up, ribs? We're bringing back the bacon in a big way. Those live strong bracelets. That what up ribs is a thing like I've been doing for like 20 years. And I remember like when I was gonna do it on the episode, I would like did like a what up ribs. And then I was like, wait, let's do a regular one in case I don't know people aren't ready for that. Like the, the dumb things, which I still have like so many ridiculously dumb things. What do you think I was gonna say <laughs> in 2010? Come on. I have so many ridiculously dumb things that I say and do that I still like have cut on rough cuts of Epic Meal Time and I'm like, no, no, we gotta cut that. They're not ready. And What Up Ribs was like one of those. I remember doing that and being like, that's weird. That's gonna rub people the wrong, that's just weird. Like, that's where my head was at. I was, I was that self-conscious about things. I guess I still am self-conscious about things. Extract the bacon juices. Oh, we extracted the bacon juices. Extract if we were real gangster, we would have, I was gonna say if we were really gangster, we would have drank that. And obviously I don't remember how this episode plays out because we straight up drank that. Jack Daniels bacon grease eggnog. Next level Christmas crunk maneuver. More bacon, more bacon. 80% <laughs> of the bacon. content was saying bacon back then. Honey garlic brown pork meat glue. Meat glue, we gotta bring it back. Not enough meat glue these days. We there should be more meat glue. Making steaks up in this bitch. Many steaks. Delicious. Potatoes steak. mashed. Not a big deal. <laughs> Potatoes mashed. Not a big deal. That's absolutely true. It's totally not a big deal. It's just mashed Jack potatoes. and Coke ribs. That's what you did. We poured Jack and Coke all over it. A foundation made of ground pork. Puff puff pastry. We made a meat boy. Because you want to know why we made a meat boy? Because I was obsessed with meat boy at that that point of video game. And I wrote a letter to like the creators of Meat Boy being like, hey, I have this channel. It was the first free thing I ever tried to get. I put a Meat Boy in the episode and I wrote them a letter being like, can I have a Meat Boy t-shirt or like some merch? Do you have anything? That was the first time that I ever did that. You wanna know the most extreme thing I ever did? It was like two years ago, I wrote like a letter to like Mercedes Canada. And I was like, yo, give me a G-Wagon and like I'll post about it on Instagram. They're like, ha ha ha, you're crazy YouTuber. But I didn't get a G-Wagon. Um, Toyota did give me a Scion for a year though when I was in LA. That was jokes. Um, and I just had to post on Instagram. Getting a car so you could post on Instagram is crazy. You know what else is crazy? Getting a dog in exchange for an Instagram post. That's my dog right now. My dog right now is I, I post him on Instagram and, and then I got him for free. Otherwise he would have been $5,000. $5,000 for a little dog that you don't even know is going to like make it through the night? <laughs> crazy. But trading off a dog for Instagram posts is also crazy. Let us create. Yeah, to create. Using the meat glue as mortar and the steaks as bricks. Great episode, but like, you know what? Like, like it already looks so crazy, wall. that house. Next like, level meat, meat cage, cage cooking, cooking apparatus. apparatus. Like, we went hard. This was a very stressful episode because we just did the Turbacon Epic, so we put five birds inside a pig. We just did Breakfast of Booze, where I kind of figured out who the Sauce Boss character was. And then it's like, what are we going to do for Christmas? Christmas has to be big. Like, I was like, we have to get a reindeer. We have to get a reindeer and kill it. <laughs> and like, just the ideas that were tossed were just not possible. This is where we ended up, and it's pretty badass. We got snow, ham door, ham windows, puff pastry ceiling. Ribs as a fence. Cheese whiz. Oh, shit. lots of cheese whiz. Great cheese blood. Meat for us. Candy bacon roof. Are we in heaven? Because it's smelling bacon. The slaughterhouse. 
a gingerbread house, minus the gingerbread, replace it with slaughtered animals. Well, we're missing Let Me Know here. Let Me Know may have been there, but it's not on camera. Let Me Know back in the day used to be like, don't film me, don't film me. We got Tyler here, still skinny. Josh selling printers. Amir looks like a, like a child. Uh, there's Daskal, the OG chef. Muscles glasses. And Dave, this is like, this is like, this has ended up being like the epic mealtime crew for a while now. Wishing everyone a Merry Christmas. To the haters. To, to the, the haters. haters. Okay, if you look at Dave's face after he says to the haters, cause like, no one told him to say that, but he said it, and then he was kinda like, But it's a great face. I remember rewinding that face and playing it back so much. I was so happy you said it, but it was a funny moment. But I was like, before that, like, no one really spoke. Not that it was a rule. It was not like only Harley talks. It was just like no one really had anything to say. Sometimes we'd film stuff, sometimes we didn't. And people got more comfortable. But back then, it was just like the only time someone spoke was like a mirror if he was drunk. But this to the haters bit is so good. I got to play it again. To the haters. To, to the, the haters. <laughs> oh, those dirty fingers. That's really, that's a lot of whiskey bacon. <laughs> put a mirror in the next time. Ooh, I put a mirror in the next time. What a crazy episode. So right after that, we were rushing near the end because we were going to see Tron. The Tron movie was in theaters. So we rushed to go see Tron and it was so stinky. Like you cook all that food, all the winter jackets, like we used to smell. So we all rolled in there like smelling so gross. Uh, it was not a good look. Uh, well, for everyone else, we didn't care. We were just like burping and like just like so tired and like just trying to stay awake for Tron. But I remember being so excited for that movie. Tron was sick. Oh, the slaughterhouse was sick too. That was pretty cool. All right, let's watch another Christmas video. This one was cool. I, I liked this one doing it. Things were great. It was the first time we ever brought in Jill, who ended up designing a lot of our t-shirts. She made the ornament at the top of the tree and she made the Christmas sweaters we're wearing, which is pretty awesome because we were like doing the ugly Christmas sweaters before ugly Christmas sweaters were like being marketed in your face on Facebook every single time you went on the internet. So it's like we, we adopted ugly Christmas sweaters right away. Like we were on that thing. We were all over. We should have made our own ugly Epic Mealtime Christmas sweater. <laughs> Lost money. Or maybe that was just a bad business endeavor, who knows. But I love this episode. And what's funny about this episode is it's a year after Epic Mealtime. So at this point I'm kind of making fun of the original Epic Mealtime. Cause I remember the first Christmas special, I was so stressed and worried about what's gonna happen and like, are people still gonna like this? And now it's a year later and I'm like, well, we've been doing this for a year. No one could take that from us now. We were just joking. We have like a million subscribers, two million, maybe three. We were just joking. And um, we've been doing this for a year. No one can take that. So I definitely have a lot more of, of an attitude in this one that I didn't have the year before because the year before I was scared. But let's do it. Bacon tree. While Santa was sleeping, we were delivering you this gift. Check out those sweaters. Murray Christmas. Murray Christmas, making fun of the last and one. Happy making fun of Dave talking, the last one. Uh, what? Oh yeah, bacon, mother <laughs> Bacon on Christmas morning. Multiple bacon stations. Let me know. See, even starting off being like, uh, what? Oh yeah, bacon. No it's like I'm already making fun All of the, the show bacon. itself. Bacon grease, a drip drop dripping. Bacon grease. A drip drop dripping. That's a sick line though. So much I still say that drip on, drop dripping. Jesus. Holy bacon. We've enjoyed this oven. I should have I should have used that bacon line. For Holy bacon. Time this ah. Christmas. Should have. Enjoy us. For the children. next level, wrapping Christmas trees and green. This may have been Dan Harush's first episode also even though he's not on camera. I think we hired him as an Muscle intern classes. and bacon he came in and he he wrapped the tree up. Where are you at, you grinch ass bitch? Get your ah. together and spread some holiday that's a crazy Stop meal. A Scrooge and get in on this holiday fast food bacon liquor mixture. Look at the laziest, laziest uh, calorie counter ever. One item. This is back when I was editing the show. A bacon Christmas tree with fast food ornaments and liquor presents below the tree. And this bad boy on top made of milk and chocolate. Cause it's mother Christmas! Merry Christmas and happy holidays from the number what? one thing on your computer since mother f***ing solitaire. Now watch this. Since solitaire, Harley. As a gift. As a gift. As a gift. I can't tell if I'm actually... Oh, here's a little bonus. <laughs> it's a bonus. It's... It's... 
this <laughs> rap video at the end. Um, I don't even know if I'll get if it'll get content ID, but yeah, I did a rap video with like Daystorm also. You guys can go look that up. That's one thing about YouTubers. YouTubers are the funniest people. YouTubers are like, did I just get 500,000 views from talking to the camera like this? Oh my God, I'm a rapper? Every YouTuber does it. Every YouTuber's like, I'm gonna be a rapper now. And then they go through their gold teeth phase. Um, I did that, I did that a couple years ago. I did mine like five years ago. I think Jake Paul's going through his now, but it happens. That music video at the end really threw me, threw me off there. That really, really messed me up. Okay, let's do one more Christmas episode because it's motherfucking holidays and we motherfucking deserve this shit, right? Huge throwback. Also tag your friends or tweet this at them that you used to watch these videos with. You know what I mean? Maybe you don't talk to them anymore. I'll do it. I'll just tag everyone that I'm in the videos with and then you guys can tag all your friends you used to hang out with during that time as well. Now this episode of Epic Mealtime is special. It's the Epic Christmas Carol and it's the third Epic Mealtime Christmas special. This is when like drama started to happen. You know, the guy that I created Epic Mealtime with Sterling, we had a falling out. Things are cool now. Muscles glasses started to disappear from the videos for extended period of time. Uh, at the peak of Epic Mealtime's popularity, he just went back to school to get a degree I guess and to be better prepared with the opportunities that should come up or that he'll find himself in we were joined up with this company that made our cooking set so we were kind of like bound to them to an extent so we were staying in this ridiculous house with them it seemed like everything modest about us had just dissipated because it looked like there was inner turmoil since muscles glasses was not present at the time he was doing school he had an abandoned epic mealtime at that point or, or epic mealtime didn't abandon him and you know there was like articles about the creators of epic mealtime time beefing with each other and then you look and we're in this like gigantic castle of a house and it's just like damn these boys lost their way so this epic christmas carol episode was like it was important because we were all going to be in it <clears throat> We were all about the show still. We all loved it. We loved the job. We loved having fun. Muscles Glasses was in town. It was going to be a big one. And the reason why this was special, because this is where I realized that, you know, we went and we put a lot of extra work into this. We made like a huge meal. We had a huge kitchen. We had everyone there. We had hired extra girls to be in the episode. We had made a whole skit. You know, David just started learning how to edit at this point. He did like a great job editing this video. For me, I just realized that the money you put into the video, or the quality of the video that you may think is the best quality because it is a really quality video the jokes are great does not necessarily translate to views because it's got like over a million views but at the time we were getting like two million three million so this kind of stood out as in many ways like a failure I, it was like a lesson for me i was like oh sometimes people on youtube like your content but i don't think that's more of a fact than it is today but without further ado let's check it out the epic christmas carol i love this video come on open the door you dick Shut up! I don't need you. I got plenty of jack and bacon, all right? I'm the sauce boss. Suck you. No, you suck <laughs> Suck your mum. No, suck you! On, suck you, yeah, suck I, your mum. We gotta go take our medicine. We have to take our medicine! By the way, Boy Meets World is on. Boy Meets World is on. <laughs> Boy Meets World is on. We have to... <laughs> 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 Their alarm goes off. They're like, we have to take our medicine. <laughs> Does that game include a mini video game, game about high being school? Full of crap. Huh. Get out of my office. I'm, I'm really good in this. Hello, what Steve. else we got here? Colonel Sanders, what's up with that? I love you, Mr. Feeney. Look at this bed. I mean, I wrote this paper. Triple king size. <laughs> You're a real fucking idiot. Excuse me, Mook. It's not Mook. I'm the ghost of bacon. I'm here to tell you how much of a prick you become. You don't value anything anymore. I value bacon. What would you do if there were no more pigs? Teach. Exactly. <laughs> so you better I used to be a teacher. Stop, stop taking things for granted. You know what? You're right. I should appreciate things more. Like I should appreciate bacon. Yeah. Welcome to the Epic Meal Time Kitchen where grown men don't give a f I like that we call Josh Mook instead of just Josh because everyone wanted a name. Once Muscles Glasses got very popular, everyone wanted like a name instead of just being themselves. Not that he wasn't himself. Tyler. No. Tyler with an I'm exclamation Tyler. mark. I'm the ghost of booze. You want a drink? Yes, please. Everyone had to, everyone's Good image job. had to be like, you. Uh, like a, a product. <laughs> All right. You're supposed to teach me a lesson or something? Nope. You want another drink? <laughs> You're a good ghost, man. <laughs> You're a good ghost. Muscles, glasses, violently ripping up strips of bacon and then gently laying them down. 
Anthony Bourdain once called bacon the peace. candy of meats. Did you know that Anthony Bourdain and Muscles Glasses split four hookers in Thailand once after a serious opium bender? Great story, allegedly. Remember, if you take your cooking game half seriously, you better be sweet. We actually said allegedly because I thought we'd get sued. step in the cooking process. Otherwise, that's just some bitch. Muscle Glasses bacon we weaving is a big bitch. deal. Take this bacon weave, for example. This bacon weave is the pinnacle of what you can do when you ain't being a bitch and you ain't consumed by that bitch that your dad's all about. Sloppy, greasy bacon flip like we just don't give Take in this bacon here. It's okay to have a boner. Trust me, I have one too. Wet sand. No, nope, no wait. That's brown sugar. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Fist and finger that pile of powder. We spread that all <laughs> over idiot. our bacon weave for a candy bacon weave. Candy bacon I actually weave am an idiot. this bitch. And once again, take a moment to get They bang those so gently ass. together because we had a fear of breaking bottles ever since the Super Bowl special. Dave, what are you the ghost of? What are you talking about? More for a cigarette. Oh. Good night. <laughs> now, this year, we're making a candy and meat snowman. This is some next level goofy sh <laughs> stuff in the bottom layer with bacon. And Very impressive meal white chocolate. that the boys next pulled out here. As well. Ain't no surprises here. We throw in more bacon, but we don't want to compromise. I had no say in the construction of this meal. I have no idea how this was pulled no off. Human being I mean, I know how it was pulled off, but I had no idea you know how to pull it off. Things that nobody's ever said before. This motherfucker's got Oreos for buttons. Oreo buttons make for a gorgeous snowman. Mini Yak Dagnal bottle as a nose. Goddamn Chocolate impressive eyes. meal, man. And a licorice lip. Now we bust our candy bacon weave because this badass has a candy bacon weave scarf. And our epic mealtime hat to make sure he gets at least a hand job this And we gotta plug the merch. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce. A sow. He looks like he's from Snowman. Scarborough. <laughs> With that scarf and that hat. Oh, shit. The bounce. The bounce. My best friend. I'm having this. My best here. friend. I feel weird inside. I need to relax. Toss me a bitch or two. Huh? You do not. What do you mean? I am not your best friend. Yes, Dave. Dave's got good voices. You must learn the value of sharing before you can get your. Before you can get your ah, but so smart, man. I've been such an asshole. I mean, I got all this bacon and all these things, and what's the fun of having all these things if I can't share it with my bestest buds in the world? I think I learned a lesson. What was once a douchebag has now become a much nicer douchebag. Hey! Hey! It's a joyous Christmas, guys, honestly. What's up? I turned over <laughs> a new leaf, all right? I'm feeling good now. I'm sorry, I've been a dickhead. I've been an asshole. Rice crispy bacon stuffed snowman for everyone. Huge crush, that was perfect. Yeah, boy. Oh my God, and this is when Epic Chef was happening. So at this point, we started our show Epic Chef, and that was like such a crazy way to end the year. It was like our own show on YouTube. You know, someone else was paying for it. Now, all this was my money up until this point. Every single thing you saw was just me spending my own money. And then Epic Chef happened. Someone else put money up. So that means they got to make decisions too. Kind of messed with things a little bit. It was a bit of a nightmare. What are the comments on this episode? I miss this theme and attitude and the squawk at the square words. I swear words, good old DMT. Well, that's funny because, um, we never got rid of the squawk and the swear word, that's for sure. Oh, this guy, this, wow, you're a good ghost. <laughs> this episode made, really made me laugh. I think you guys found a good new ground of adding non-cooking content into your videos. A lot of pretty good lines in this one. I thought this episode was hilarious. I always loved this one. And then the reaction wasn't as positive as I thought. The views weren't as positive. And I was like, okay, ah. it. I'm just going to get drunk and yell bacon. And I think that happened for a while. And I think I started to kind of hate the show. There was a year where I, I hated Epic Meal Time a little bit. I'll react to those videos, my least favorite videos. Let me know what you think. Let me know your least favorite videos of Epic Meal Time in the comment section. I'll do a reaction to those as well. It'd be good times. Well, of course, depending on how the views do on this. This is the peak of Epic Meal Time. Wish it was still like this. I hope Harvey reads this and takes it back. Harvey. I'm the ghost of bitches. People love that. Something like that doesn't fly these days. You can't say you're the ghost of bitches. Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, uh, leave a thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment. And uh, share the video, like I said, with the buddies of yours that you used to watch these videos with. Huge throwback.